It is the 4th of the 4th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on uh, EarthChangesSot.net. Tornado wrecked Dallas begins accessing damage. Uh, yeah, they had like five major tornadoes in the Dallas area. I uh, spent yesterday pretty much watching uh, May Kay's blog TV uh, following this story live. A lot of damage down in Texas, and uh, they're accessing the damage as we speak. Storm lashes Japan, killing four grounding flights. Um, the spring storm that swept across Japan's main island of Honshu on Tuesday with winds of more than 144 kilometers an hour, that's 89 miles an hour, Typhoon strength. The meteorological agency said the storm had left the region by Wednesday, but it urged caution as strong winds would persist in parts of northern Japan. And uh, they're saying two people were killed in separate incidences in this storm. Fukushima. Dangerous risks being ignored to cut costs. Of course, the government continues to take regressive steps in spite of torrent of criticism it has received and lessons that should have been learned since the, uh, the Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami triggered a nuclear disaster. Um, this is evidence, in fact, that starting this week, which marks the beginning of a new fiscal year, the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency uh, and the Nuclear Safety Commission of Japan have no budget. The new re uh, nuclear regulatory agency that was supposed to begin operations on April 1st, uh, NISA's stead is now floundering amid resistance in the diet from opposition, in the diet from opposition parties. In other words, the government agencies overseeing nuclear power have an, an have even more diminished presence. They're letting these corporations police themselves, and you wonder uh, why things have gotten to this point. Hot and cold, Britain of two halves as heavy snowfall covers Scotland in white, while England still enjoys unseasonable warmth. Snow is predicted to fall in northern England and Ireland, and possibly in the Midlands and Wales after around 8 inches came down across parts of Scotland. It is very much a tale of two Britons today, as Scotland and England bask and shiver respectively in different weather. Typhoon strength storm kills two in Japan brings chaos, of course. Thousands of dolphins dying in Gulf waters. The dolphins in the Gulf of Mexico are in the midst of a massive die-off. The reasons why remain in complicated and mysterious mix of oil, bacteria, and the unknown. Correct it! <sighs> and I'm seeing BP commercials. Come on down, the fishing's great. Bring the family. <sighs> Another story on the Dallas tornadoes, uh, where it hit the the Flying J and the the Schneider Park and trailer parks or uh, um, semi trucks flying all over the place. They actually got some videos of that. Over to the RSOE, they're about the only thing other going on. Um, the flash flooding uh, or the flooding in Fiji after that storm still continues. They're dealing with the aftermath of that. Uh, got some flash flooding in New Zealand and Northland, uh, the northeast region. They're having some severe weather and uh, flash floods, that kind of thing. And that's about all new they have going on tonight. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, let's just get started on ENE News. TEPCO is concerned about high winds damaging reactor number one. Risk that the cover would spill over the reactor building. It was only designed for winds of 56 miles an hour. you got to remember this is that big tent or tarp that they've constructed around the reactor number one building um, to help keep everything regulated, supposedly, basically to keep prying eyes from seeing what's going on in there. Uh, they were afraid that this windstorm would rip it right off the building and cause more havoc down there. Uh, Kyoto storm may have halted nitrogen injections at three Fukushima reactors for hours. TEPCO says no fears of hydrogen explosion. And they got a video shows dark smoke from Fukushima Daiichi blowing over Japan on March 15, 2011 after explosion at reactor number three. And uh, we all watched that or it's easy to find videos of that. Uh, Caldecott, uh, which is... Uh, 
she's an outspoken nuclear anti-nuclear person if spent fuel pool number four collapses I'm evacuating my family from Boston I'm going to ask you uh, where there's no place to hide taking them to Mars and there's a short video on that where she's actually stating that Japan government study Fukushima radiation reached Alaska via ocean in under a month and everybody's wondering what's happening to the seals and uh, why they've had record snowfall and all of that going on over there. Over 100 degrees Celsius, new TEPCO data shows temperatures spiked at two gauges in reactor number two. Similar rise patterns for both charts. JMA, a rare situation. This is like the core of a typhoon, but it is staying for a long time. This is in winds uh, that that storm that just rolled through, 135 kilometer an hour winds recorded due west of Fukushima. And uh, yesterday there were reports of where they had a strange circular weather pattern uh, right over the top of Fukushima as this storm blowed over. Study Fukushima contaminated may be spreading south of Tokyo, not blocked by the Kurshio current, was wildly reported. A potential pathway for contaminated water, and this is one of the ocean currents. Uh, that slip right past Japan in the Pacific Ocean and they were saying this one current was going to take the radiation away from Japan and the waters south of Tokyo are still safe um, for harvesting and uh, facts are proven that that's not the case at all and former Prime Minister Ken reveals nuclear cover-up. After Fukushima, he devoted himself to nuclear activism. He now wants to abolish nuclear power in Japan. So this clown brought him in, quit, and he's coming back as your savior. Good luck. Over to the Daily News, Fukushima now. Uh, nitrogen injected stopped at TEPCO, started back up. Uh, they started a backup unit. According to this story, uh, there was a tweet from one of the employees that it shut down um, like at 0, 0,600 hours, and uh, the backup was started at 0, 0,030 hours, so it was only officially down for 14 minutes. Um, they are still injecting nitrogen into these um, reactors because there's still fission going on, a.k.a. China Syndrome and they can't leave this nitrogen off for too long or they're going to have some hydrogen explosions and they don't want to have that on the mainstream news now do they? Marine contamination reached Philippines last April. This thing is spreading way faster than they ever projected. Over to ESSKF coverage I just wanted to cover one story off of there I thought was pretty funny. Yamori Daily TEPCO declines Fukushima wood chips as fuel for thermal power generation. Not even TEPCO is willing to accept radiation contaminated wood chips because of the concern for radioactive ashes from burning to chips. <sighs> My bigger question is, it's in this blog, why are the lumber companies operating their mills at all in Fukushima when they should know very well by now that the mountains and the forest in Fukushima have been doused with radioactive materials. You know, gotta make that money. Uh, so funny, TEPCO won't use wood chips to burn theirs, uh, but they are burning the debris, tsunami debris and open incinerators all across Japan and uh, even the handful of mayors that are trying to fight this are um, being told otherwise. So the insanity continues. It continues. Uh, of course, I'll provide the links below. Um, leave your comments or attach your videos. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.